The 2018 NPR responds to this increasingly challenging threat environment not by changing long-standing tenets of U.S. nuclear policy that have bipartisan support, but by emphasizing the, emphasizing the maintenance of those capabilities needed to effectively deter war in the current environment. It also seeks to clarify U.S. policies to help remove the potential for mistaken calculation by potential adversaries that limited nuclear first use threats or escalation can provide them with any possible useful political or military advantage. Correcting the potential for such calculations is now a key to maintaining deterrence of nuclear war. In this regard, I'd like to address three of the corresponding outcomes of the 2018 NPR the clarification of our nuclear policy, and the recommended supplements to U.S. deterrence capabilities, all of which have been subject to considerable news accounts uh, and what I would consider to be considerable mischaracterizations in much of the public commentary. First, let me say the 2018 NPR returns deterrence of nuclear attack against us, our allies and partners, to the top priority of U.S. nuclear policy. Given the security environment and the changes in that environment that I have highlighted, this is a prudent, realistic, and I would argue necessary change. Second, to strengthen deterrence of nuclear and non-nuclear strategic attacks, the 2018 NPR clarifies U.S. declaratory policy regarding nuclear weapons. Doing so does not expand the circumstances for nuclear use or lower the nuclear threshold, as some commentators have suggested. Rather, while maintaining a measure of ambiguity, it provides some clarification regarding what might constitute an extreme circumstance that could lead to U.S. consideration of a possible nuclear response. This clarification enhances deterrence and raises the nuclear threshold by reducing the potential for adversary miscalculation. As potential adversary non-nuclear capabilities continue to become more and more lethal, U.S. policy must make clear that non-nuclear strategic attacks that would have catastrophic effects on the American people and our allies must also be deterred. Finally, in addition to prioritizing deterrence and adding some clarity to extreme circumstances, the 2018 NPR also recommends two nuclear programs to strengthen U.S. capabilities to deter attacks and to assure allies. First, is the modification of a small number of existing submarine-launched ballistic missiles to include a low-yield option. Second is the pursuit of a nuclear sea-launched cruise missile. Despite the awesome capabilities of our existing nuclear triad, Russia's actions indicate that Moscow may hold the mistaken belief that its numerous and diverse non-strategic nuclear arsenal provides useful options for limited first-use nuclear threats or employment. We believe the two supplements to the U.S. nuclear arsenal presented in the NPR are important to help correct this misperception and convince Russia and any other potential adversary that the United States and its allies will not be coerced by the threat of limited nuclear first use.